Hi everyone, my name is Kayla and welcome back to Kay's Hidden Shelf where we talk about books. Today I'm going to share with you the books that I plan to read in July. Now I do have a couple of carryovers from what I had already started reading in June as well as books that I had planned to read back in May and just haven't gotten to yet because of where my reading was at during that time. So let's dive in with what I am currently reading. First is The Necessity of Rain by Sarah Chorn. I'm reading the ebook for this one, and Sarah's books have been on my TBR for some time, but they're books that I've been hanging on to for just the right moments to read. This one was recently released on June 27th, but everything I've heard about it and the types of experiences the ARC readers were having from it, I just knew I needed to read this one as soon as it released. Let's just go ahead and read the description for this one. It begins with a butterfly in chains. Since the dawn of time, life has been comfortable and predictable. The gods have wrestled pockets of creation from chaos, formed civilizations, and built entire realities. Now the nature of creation is changing and the divine are losing their divinity. Rosemary, daughter of the god of creation, can no longer deny this when a strange delegation from Dawnland braves the path through the chaos and survives. Come to negotiate trade and protection agreements with the divine of Meadowsweet. It is the butterfly woman who so captivates Rosemary, the weight of her sorrow, the heaviness of her secrets. For the soul is a battleground. Clouds are massing along the horizon, and Rosemary. I'll be honest, I went into this blind on what the story entailed. It was how the story touched readers on an emotional level that called to me. I'm currently 64% in, and so far it's been a beautifully expressed story, emotionally evoking, and a bomb to my heart. As we follow multiple characters and their personal struggles, how it impacts their present, and even how the gods must face mortality. Exploring grief, trauma, and love so far, I've had a fantastic time with this read. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one ends, and already it's turning out to be a book that I'll likely be coming back to later for a reread. While I'm reading the ebook for The Necessity of Rain, I'm also listening to the ebook for Ascendant by Michael R. Miller. Now, this is book one in the Songs of Chaos series, a YA epic fantasy. It features a coming of age story of a dragon rider, Holt. When Holt learns a dark secret of the dragons killing their weaker kin, he defies the order he serves and rescues a doomed egg, vowing to protect the blind dragon within. Now, I will say I'm not often called to dragon rider stories. However, since reading Dragon Mage by Emil Spencer and that one hitting so well with me, I wanted to give other dragon books a try. I'm only two chapters in at the moment, but the main character has been easily introduced along with their position as a cook in the Order's kitchen staff and just their kind and loving heart so far. Now, as I mentioned, I'm also planning to read a few books that I had initially planned to read back in May, the first one being The Return of the Knights by Gregory Contaxis. I've been anxiously waiting to read this one as both the story and inclusion of Greek mythology alongside the themes of war, medieval lore, magic, and loyalty and bravery. It just sounds all up my alley, and I'm really expecting this to be a great read. The cover is just stunning as well, and the more I look at it, the more details I notice. After that, I'll be picking up the first two novellas in the Shattered Star series by K.E. Wolfe, which is co-written by Kyle Muntz and E. Wraith. The first volume is called Colony Collapse, and I believe the second volume is called Blood Dancers, or The Blood Dancers. One of the authors, Kyle Muntz, did reach out to me about providing ebooks in exchange for an honest review, so these are review copies. Now, this was pitched to me as Star Trek The Next Generation meets Firefly. Really, that's all I need to know. I'm also excited about mixing some sci-fi back into my reading as I've just had a lot of fantasy lately, and since they're both about 100 pages, they should be easy to slot in between all of my other reads. After that, I'll be reading Conspiracy by A.C. Cobble. This is a fantasy and book one in the Walright series. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The author did send me the audiobook for this in exchange for an honest review, and I'm going to go ahead and read the description for this one because I just don't think I can do this justice. The truth is a weak thing. It has no power. The only power the truth holds is the power we grant it. 
For 600 years, the kingdom of Warite was ruled by an unbroken line. It rose on a wave of technology and magic and stood alone, a bastion of stability built on pillars of economic and military might. The nation and her people thrived due to the strength of soldiers and the protection of dragons. But the line has ended. The king is dead. Noble houses vie to carve out their own domains. Foreign armies march across Warite's soil for the first time in memory. Without leadership, the king's army watches helplessly. The Fae, a source of enchantment and treachery, work unseen to secure their share of Warheit's blood. And far beyond the kingdom's borders, a growing threat looms, an empire built to right a bitter wrong. Only a small band of conspirators stand between the kingdom and chaos. Otto Tilly, captain of the king's dragon knights, the steel fist that shields the weak. Gerard Fisher, a spy and assassin, who owes more than his life to the former king. Isale Brink, the quartermaster, the keeper of the kingdom's secrets and magic. The wizard, an ancient soul who understands the cost of failure. And by fortune's curse, or fortune's favor, Two orphans from the growing war must carry the kingdom forward. As has always been, the burden of the future lies across the shoulders of the young. Now this is one I've heard lots of great things about. I'm really excited to jump in as it's just been one I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Finally, I received the e-arc for Down Below Beyond by T.A. Bruno in exchange for an honest review. It'll be releasing on July 31st and I'm really excited for this one because I had read In the Orbit of Sirens last year and I absolutely loved it. The rest of the trilogy has been calling me to finish it and I think I need to close that series out soon. I will say that T.A. Bruno's creativity with creatures, plants, and stories are captivating to read, and I'm excited to see what Down Below Beyond has in store. So that is everything I plan to read in July. It's been really nice getting back to my usual reading routines, and I'd love to know actually, what are you reading right now? Is it everything you expected? Leave your comments down below, I always love to hear from you. As always, thank you for watching, and take care of yourselves.